When the O.J. Simpson trial began in 1995, it captivated a global audience in what was essentially the first reality TV show, pulling in all the themes, celebrity, wealth, tabloid culture, and how the rich and famous can often buy their own version of criminal justice. On Monday, the same issues will be in play in another trial, one that will also capture the attention of viewers around the globe, the first criminal trial of a former U.S. president, Donald Trump. This one centered not on murder, but rather around the falsification of business records to cover up an alleged affair with an adult film star before the, 2016, the 2016 election. Now, let's just let that sink in for a moment. Not only is a former president facing a criminal trial for the first time in our nation's history, but this historic criminal defendant could again become the president in a matter of months. NBC News has obtained a list of the potential witnesses who could be called to testify at the trial. For the prosecution, there are names that are expected, like Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, who took out a second mortgage to pay off Stormy Daniels, who engaged in the alleged affair with Trump and then was reimbursed by Trump with a check handed to him in the Oval Office. And there's Karen McDougal, a former Playboy model who also allegedly had an affair with Trump, both at a time when third wife Melania Trump had recently given birth to Trump's fifth child. But also on the list are people who are or were part of Trump's inner circle who could corroborate Cohen's testimony, including Trump's trusted aide, Hope Hicks, Trump's longtime assistant, Ronna Graff, and former directory of Oval Office Operations, Madeleine Westerhout. And for the defense, we know of only two potential witnesses at the moment who could take the stand, a former FEC commissioner and Donald Trump himself. Joining me now is Catherine Christian, MSNBC legal analyst and former Manhattan district, assistant district attorney. I'm just going to make you the DA. I just keep on elevating you. To, I'm just making you. You're my DA. Uh, let, let's talk about this, because it does feel like this trial will in some ways maybe be the trial of the 21st century. It's the only one that's going to probably go to trial for Trump before the election. How much of a spectacle do you think it will be? I think it'll be a big spectacle, just the fact that it's Donald Trump. Yeah. Now, the first two weeks, two and a half weeks, are going to be boring because it's jury, jury selection. selection. So no witness is going to be called. Well, I'm saying it's boring, but of course, Donald Trump is going to take every opportunity he can and every break and after the case is right, over to for walk the day, out and talk, walk yeah. out and talk. But it's basically going to be like watching paint dry in that it's jury selection, yeah. which is the... I think trial lawyers will tell you it's the most important It is the, the most trial. important thing. You win a jury yeah. selection, yeah. yeah. So it's very important, but it's not exciting. It's not going to be Stormy Daniels or Michael Cohen on the Well, it's yet. not exciting to most, but I'm an nerd. Yeah. It is exciting to me. Yeah. Because I, I do believe voir dire and jury selection is the most important most thing. Most important part. Because the, the, for Trump, I anticipate he's going to try to do things like have his lawyers excuse, exclude anybody black. Right. He's going to try to get them to include people who love MAGA, people who watch The Apprentice. Like, what are the kind of questions you think that his lawyers will try to ask to try to get him an ideal jury? Well, he well, they won't, because then remember, the prosecutor and the defense can strike people and don't have to give reason. They have 10 each. It's called peremptory challenges. Right. So and you can also challenge people for cause. So clearly someone who's like, I'm a MAGA, you know, you know, it's you can exclude them. Yeah, for that. You can exclude them. Um, in terms of them knocking people off because of their race, um, typically you think the prosecutor is the only one that can be challenged with that. It's called the Batson challenge. Yeah. There's also in New York, defense can also be challenged. You can't, as a defense attorney, just like everybody black, no, get, no, 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 get everyone, all the Asians off or all right. blacks off. So I anticipate the prosecutors making that point too to the judge, say, Your Honor, the every single black person. There, Why are they all off? Yeah, who are but normal. Let's talk about some of these witnesses. So we're talking about, obviously, Michael Cohen, Stormy Daniels. We know that's going to be big, and Karen McDougal. We talked about them. David Pecker, I find interesting, because he's the American media CEO. So he was the one they arranged to buy the life rights from Karen McDougal to the pay off. And, kill. and they did it differently. They didn't do catch and kill through him. In this case, Michael Cohen did yes. it himself. How could that be a, an interesting witness for the prosecution? It's, he's very relevant because he was part of the conversations about the whole how do we suppress this negative information? So he was very, uh, part, as part of the National Enquirer. Yeah. Um, so he's going to be providing the background. Right. Uh, Let, let's play Karen news. McDougal real quick. This is her and her interview about why she sold her story. Why do you think it was that it was after Donald Trump was the Republican nominee that they came back? They wanted to squash a story. You're saying they wanted to protect Donald Trump? I'm assuming so, yeah. 
You think it's because of a personal relationship with the guy who runs AMI, is friends with Donald Trump? Correct. And so this is how it's an election interference trial. And because the guy Donald who Trump's runs AMI is David Pecker. Is David Pecker. Yeah. And so, right, so the idea is they don't want the Christian right who he's trying to court mm -hmm. to, to know he's a cheater. Yeah, you want to keep it private. Because also remember at that time, the Access Hollywood. That had come out. Grab him by the you know what came out. So you can't have Karen McDougal, Stormy Daniels, the Access Hollywood. He was afraid, he, yeah. Donald Trump, that that would chill his... Yeah. his, his well, the joke's on everyone right. else because the, 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 the so-called Christian right doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. um, there's also this piece that I think is very key. Michael Cohen, when he himself was sentenced, uh, here's what it said in part of his own sentencing, the sentencing memo about Michael Cohen. In particular, and as Cohen himself has now admitted, with respect to both payments that he made to Stormy Daniels, he acted in coordination with and at the direction of individual one. The fact that he was convicted, Michael Cohen, in this payoff scheme, and individual one is Trump, that seems to me to be powerful evidence. That's very powerful evidence. He, you know, he has baggage, Michael Cohen, but he is the, he was the fixer for Donald Trump, and he's going to testify to that. He was loyal to Donald Trump, and he he's the only one who can talk about this. He's the one who made the payoffs. And also, his baggage is that he went to prison for Donald, for Donald Trump. Trump. Exactly. So his baggage, actually, to me, it, what baggage? He's not been wrong. He said Donald Trump wouldn't leave office. He's not been wrong about that. And what baggage he has, he has because he was doing crimes exactly. for Donald Trump. So it seems to me kind of hard to impeach him on that. But it'll be yeah. interesting to see yeah. how they try. Uh, Catherine Christian, always a pleasure. We will see you on Monday. We'll see what happens. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.